Hello everybody, um, I'm Rachel and I wanted to show you um, how I do um, a shoe cabinet. This is a big cabinet uh, only for shoes. This is from I think from the 60s, 70s and I did uh, the first um, uh, cover I did with a silk stick um, just because it's laminate and um, it's uh, I don't know if the color will stick enough so I just make one um, cover and now I'm going to do the, fir the, 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 the first color cover I just took a pearl gray from, uh, from vintage paint I'm not sure I will keep this color on it but it's good color for me to, uh, uh, to start start because after word I will put some piece print on it and I want it first this color on uh, as the first cover so let's go So here we are and I want to show you uh, how I make this piece print uh, image from Marilyn Monroe and I uh, prepared this uh, closet, this shoe, shoe uh, cabinet and we will, uh, we will do it now, so let's go! I just go with my hand and take care that there is no air bubble underneath and the first what I will do now is I will put something to uh, protect the image and uh, after that I will make the colors I paint it and we left it last time this way and what I did between is just uh, one coat of this uh, sealer I sealed it on, uh, on the image just to protect it and actually in the end I will probably do another one and this is only protection and this gives you also the opportunity uh, if you uh, make the paint around it and it uh, go wrong you can always clean it from the image so it's keeping it's keep it clean you can uh, of course also paint over the, the, the image but just in case that something that you don't like something you always can Clean it just with a um, towel or baby wipes or whatever. Just go away. So this is not a problem. So we will um, do today another step. So we work today with the salt wash and um, with two different colors because I uh, wanted to uh, to reach uh, to get this color of this image. And if you come closer, you will see that these colors, it's like uh, black-white, but it's a very special black-white image. Uh, I, I looked uh, at this image for a few minutes to get really the, color, the colors, and there is black and white, there is also gray, but also I see a little, uh, very soft, how do you say it, lila, purple in it and I find a color that's very similar but it's it will not be if I will use only this color it will not be the right one so I tried to mix two colors I took um, lavender it's uh, it's called it's uh, from vintage paint and I took another color another warm gray from vintage paint and I try to mix this color together and I really get a very similar color like if I will take it with my hand um, you will see that it's quite similar maybe a little too light but if I will put more a little purple in it so I will get this very 
uh, close color to hear what I have. You can see it on the side. I paint it here already. Just a little to compare the colors. This is my paint and this is the image and it looks very similar. Of course, I will work with uh, different kind of uh, dark waxes in the end, so it will give some uh, deepness and character to the, to the image and to the paint. But right now, this is the colors I try to, to get. So we will mix some colors. We will just mix this gray. Warm gray from vintage paint and the other one is uh, what is that? Lavender. Fitted la lavender. So we mix both together and we will probably have to have more from this lavender than from the gray uh, to reach very close color so I just always work like filling and what my eyes like so it's like my mother when she cook she can never say how much salt or pepper she put on her food she's just say a little so this is the way I work in painting and like Try to mix both colors. Let's see what's happening. So when I mix this, I see that I have too much gray, to, and I want more from the lavender. Do you see the difference? The colors. Okay, so now I think we have the color that we need. I will see it on the on the closet um, and I will decide if I want to put more lavender or less. And before I take this uh, salt wash, I prefer to work with the mask because I can print this, uh, this material. So I just take a spoon and this comes like a pulver powder and I put inside the color. In the beginning I, I just uh, start with a little uh, because you can decide how thick you want uh, this mix. I don't like when it's too thick so I prefer to start with very little and I can always add if I need and with this salt uh, if you let it stand for a while it will become thicker so don't put in the very beginning too much inside just put a little and wait for a few seconds or minutes and you will be uh, you will 
see that it will become thicker. Mix very good. If you put too much from the very beginning and you don't like because it's too thick, you can always put water inside and make it thinner. So, right now it looks like this. It's not very thick, but if I will let it a few minutes or start to work with it, it will always become thick. What do you think about the color? I think we got the color. I mean, if we compare it to what we have here on the image, we will see. We can always change the color with waxes and uh, uh, some uh, pasta or with pigments. After that, we can add also some uh, stencil with different color, a little darker, a little lighter on it. We will see, we will just go with it and see what's happening. Right now I have this mix and I'm quite satisfied. So we will take, uh, I have here some sponge. I like to work with sponge. Um, I take this one and make it a little wet. So this will be flexible and then I start to work with this mix just to make a structure. I work this way. You see I don't want to get a flat cover and you can make it lighter or stronger. You can cover completely or leave the under uh, color shine through but we will just go with it and see what we like and what we can change or want to change so here is the image you see this is the end of the image and we want to take this line away we don't want uh, to let it like a picture on the closet. We want to mix, to blend this image together with the whole closet. So this is why I go also on the image. I stopped to, uh, to, show you, to show you how thick it will become. I just uh, did this size and started this size and look how thick it's become. It was much thinner. So if I will try to uh, show you with the spoon, look how thick it's become. So if we don't like it, we can always mix or put a little more water to, to make the movement. So you can play with it and, and, <clears throat> and change the structure and <clears throat> never leave it open and go because when you come back it's, it's like a stone. So quit working <clears throat> and if you have to make a break so just keep, keep it closed in something no air inside like in a box and try to use it in the next days or hours better.
So, we need uh, one coat with this uh, mix, with a salt wash, two different colors mix and got this color. And now we have to wait uh, a little that it will start to get dry. When it starts to get dry, I will uh, try to smooth the, the surface with a spatula. Um, you can use spatula like a wall spatula, it's actually bigger. You can use also a small one. It's not a big uh, closet, so I can work also a little um, with a little tool. You can also work with this one. Just use this uh, size and don't work too straight. Just work soft this way and take it down. And let it dry for a few minutes and we will come back and try to uh, to make the surface a little smoother okay so i'm back now uh, i waited a few minutes that it will get dry i don't need it really good dry because then i cannot move it it would be really uh, hard and, and it stay this way i just um, um, put all the rest that i have in a glass with a good uh, clothes that uh, no air come because if not you can throw it away you will not be able to uh, work with it anymore so now i will just take this little uh, spatula and i will go just this way very very soft because i don't want to uh, to destroy the structure i just want to to make like different kind of uh, of ways do not go in one way and uh, but still leave a little structure because i'm going to come above it with different kind of stencil okay so i continued okay that, this is not dry not enough so we will have to wait You can also go uh, for a new structure, just go this way and try if it's still a little wet and try to, to play with the material. Here it's a little drier, but here we have much more. Just go like this. make any kind of structure that you like and right now I will leave it like this uh, if in the end I don't like the structure I can always send it with a, with a soft uh, sand, uh, sand paper like 220 20 or 180 just go over it smooth and make it uh, smoother we will continue one step more um, I just took um, a black metallic pasta from Porsche car. And we will start uh, to give a little thickness. I took uh, a new sponge to make it a little wet. To get it flexible. And I will just go into the pasta. This is quite thick pasta and you have to work quick with it. And I want to give just a little uh, thickness or to make like a frame and to give a little black color to this um, creation and we will see to where it go it's also give a structure because um, it's um, it's thick and if you if you work with this pasta on uh, on stencil, you can uh, make like a three three D three D. You say it in English. Um, wonderful creation. So right now I just go on the side and make a little frame. And I'll continue doing this, and we'll come back. So we are here again, and uh, I forgot to show you. Um, or actually I did a video for what the, the, the um, last step that I did on this closet but I forgot to, uh, to push the button 
so if you don't push the button you will not have the video and this is why I'm doing this step now just to explain what I do uh, this step that, that I didn't make video for you so you can see uh, this uh, stencil and I, I did it from up until down and with the same color and the same material actually that uh, I uh, started with this closet so if you remember we had uh, two uh, different colors that I mixed I mixed these two colors uh, together and this was the first step one that I did on this uh, closet and then from the, for the, for the part up I just took a little pasta from a uh, calc and mix it a little and uh, to make it a little lighter so and then I did this stencil up and for the part down I took the same pasta from uh, calc just in black and I just put very little to make a different um, deepness in the color but still on the same tone so this is the part I did without you. I'm very, very sorry. And we will continue with some uh, molding, some wood oven, wood oven molding that I'm going to add to this part. And I work with the wood oven uh, molding. Um, it's just uh, the best molding that you can have because uh, you can do many things with them because they, they, they are um, they are hard and look like wood when they are when they are cold. But you can also um, bend them and make it uh, fit to the form of your furniture. So uh, if I make it hot with a hair dryer, make this. that I can move it and I can just fit it to, the, to each corner that I want to use it. I always try, I just put it on the, on the furniture and see how it looks like. You, can, you have so many possibilities. You can also sand it, so make it really smooth and fit your, uh, your furniture where you want to put it and you can uh, paint it to make it in different colors and you can also paint it and just after it to make it warm and it will bend too so i will do this work now and we will see each other later So, my vision for the molding on this uh, shoe cabinet is uh, just, um, well, you know, I, I have to try to put some molding and to see what's happening. What does it do to my, to my furniture? Um, you can make so much different uh, effects with the molding. So, I... Uh, probably have thousands of opportunities to make molding on this closet because it's quite uh, uh, quite easy piece because it's really straight and clean and uh, you don't have any um, problem you can it's like um, a, an empty canvas you can do what you want with it so i have to look at it sometimes a few minutes and uh, then I take uh, some molding in my hand and I try many different ways and my vision now, which I find it very interesting, it's like I took this one, I can give you the number in the end, the number of this molding, it's quite big, I think it's uh, about 50 or 45 centimeter and I cut the middle piece I cut this piece away if you make this warm the, uh, the molding if you make it hot with your hair dryer so you can uh, you can bend it you can make it in this uh, form so I, I make it warm and I cut this piece away this one uh, 
just with a knife and then I colored, I, I painted it in black and bent it to this form so I can put it here. You see that? And then I thought I will take this molding and add it here and cut it here. This part, like cut it and make it look like a necklace. So um, I will have to do the same with this one and to cut this one and you can see how I'm doing it. So I'm continuing right now uh, doing uh, wood even on, on my closet. I just uh, uh, did this one, this part, it was a big part I showed you before. It was like about 50 centimeter big and I just uh, make it warm and go over the corner and um, glue it here. Then I needed to cut it here that I can open the door. And now I go on the other side um, and I needed to cut it, it was uh, an issue because uh, I need to open the door and in the corner I, I would not be able to, uh, to open the door if I will leave it in one piece, so I just cut it in two pieces and then I, uh, I cut a little from the, from the, from the length and uh, just checked when I opened the door that it will not go in each other because if it, it would happen, it will uh, move each other and it will go away. So I cut it so that you can also open the door with no problem. This is why I really love wood open. It's uh, the best material, you can do everything with it. And for me, it's impossible to make a furniture without it. So now I put some glue on it. You have to cover the whole surface. And I will just put it here and glue it to my closet. And I will leave here this a little space here because I still want to be able to open the door uh, without that uh, the two parts will go in each other and push each other away. So I will need my hair dryer. I clean the glue very fast that it will not stuck on my on the wood and this piece I will probably uh, I can cut it or I can just move it and bend it this way that it will just come into the space of the closet so I don't lose this piece this is what's so great in would you bend you can bend it to the form that you like to hold it until it will be cold and it will stuck and don't move anymore you see i just took it inside and i will clean the glue now
and this part I will fill just with color because I'm going to go with silver on it and I will make some black and silver so it will not be disturbing and we will see how it will look in the end everything will be paint again and the next step I want to do is to make this part here well actually it will look in the end like this just I just broke one so it would be like with silver exactly like there and here and uh, yes I will do it now and we we'll see each other later going now one step more I just did the, the molding it's not maybe not the end I'm not sure but I need to see the proportion from the molding with the whole closet uh, in the end and then I will decide if I want to add something or not but first I want I would like to make uh, legs to this closet because it's actually very straight you see it's like straight on the floor now it's not standing straight because if I will make it straight it will fall so I just it just lay on the on the wall and I have these legs here which I would like to add to this closet it will make it just a little more elegant this is my opinion every dresser and uh, closet are much more elegant with, with legs I have this um, I, have, I bought this uh, piece of wood and I think it will be much more secure and stable if I will put this one under the closet and with screws I bought many of them um, and then or before I will put the legs on this piece of wood so in the end it should look like this you see the legs sweet little legs So the next step that we uh, are doing is, uh, as I said before, I wanted to, to add some legs to this closet and you can imagine if I will add these legs to this closet that it will take it up and make it more elegant. This is what I plan to do and first I'm going to, uh, to paint these legs if before because uh, it will be easier to paint if I have it in front of me and not on the floor. And we will see each other later.
So, so I just had a look at my closet and I decided to put more uh, molding in this area and here, just that it will look the same, that come from here to down. So I will do it now and we will see each other later. I, uh, I paint the, the legs with, uh, with black and I will uh, add this now to my closet uh, with these screws. I have uh, four, four pieces, I will make it uh, left, right and two from, uh, from uh, the front. So I will do it now and we will see each other later. So uh, I make the, uh, the, the legs in the closet. Um, I just fix it with these screws and this part from, uh, from metal. Uh, I did it here in the front and here on the side. So it should be very stable now and I would like to, uh, to cover this part and to make it nicer with the wood ribbon. Uh, would you bend um, molding? I will do it with this way, with this one, and um, it probably have to be uh, two two parts. Like um, I will have to do it two times up and down uh, with this wood ribbon uh, molding. So I will do it now, and we will see each other later.